All right, so once you get your zucchini shredded, which is annoying AF because you gotta, you know, actually peel and then grate them, or you can put them in a food processor, but then you gotta clean that whole thing. I just stick them in a colander, put a bunch of salt on there, and then I just kind of mix it around and let that water seep out. All right, so in here, I've got three pounds of turkey. I've got some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper, and two eggs. And as soon as the zucchini's ready, I'm gonna dump it in here as well. All right, y'all, so here is everything in the bowl together. Make sure when you do the zucchini, so once I put it out on that paper towel, I kind of roll it up and then squeeze a little bit more of the water out. Otherwise it's gonna be really wet in there and then you're gonna have to add a ton of breadcrumbs and you'll keep adding them to get the right consistency. So what I do is I literally take my hands and I just dig in here. And by the way, I don't um, measure at all, thankfully. Um, and I attribute that to my mom because she had me in the kitchen and let me pour random things into bowls and dishes and pretended that I was cooking them and put them in the refrigerator. So I was really interested in cooking and loved it and started making up my own stuff when I was really young. And I think that's because she had me in there with her all the time. So if you have kids and that's something that you've thought about, I think it's super worthwhile to try to get them in the kitchen with you. Um, Quincy's super picky, but at least I can try to get them to do some stuff. So now see how mushy that is? It's like all over my hands, right? So I could never make a meatball out of this. So what I'm gonna do is take my breadcrumbs and I'm not even gonna worry about how many. I'm just gonna start pouring, okay? So I'm basically pouring like half of this. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna smush it around and see if I got the consistency that I wanted. And honestly, like you could use gluten-free breadcrumbs if that's your thing. You could probably make your own breadcrumbs out of whatever you want. You could probably um, put in almond flour or something else. So still kind of sticky. That's not really what I want. So actually I did about a third. So I'm gonna do, mm, that's about half actually right there. Half of a thing. And this is a lot of meat. This makes a ton of meatballs. So, and usually I make Jason do this because who wants to sit here and make meatballs? I actually love for him to <laughs> do this part for me. So much more fun. And that's still a little sticky. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more. We are not gluten-free in our household. We do not um, eat a ton of bread and stuff. Um, at least Jason and I don't, but none of us have any intolerance to it. So um, I'll use it, at, you know, breadcrumbs and stuff in recipes like this and be fine. So but really whatever you have to do to make it work for your family and to soak up some of that wetness so it's not so sticky. So I'm about perfect. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take a big chunk and you can see all the zucchini in there. So sometimes what I'll do, like if it's just for Jason and I, or I know we're gonna eat some, I'll just make them bigger, but then I'll cook them on a separate pan. But Quincy really loves for them, cause he is picky eater, to be like the size of a nugget. So, and it's kind of fun because you can put them in the freezer after you finish cooking them and you can just take out like five nuggets for dinner. So see, that's like, I have big hands, but see how the size of that, Jason would probably make it even smaller because he's better than me at doing this, but that's about the size I usually look for. And then I basically just put it on my pre, um, I sprayed this with a little bit of um, cooking spray just so it doesn't stick. And I put it on there and I just roll them all up and then I make this big, huge pan full of meatballs. Quincy likes to call them chicken nuggets. <laughs> They're actually turkey meatballs. Um, he calls them chicken nuggets with salad in them. I don't care as long as he'll eat them. And then I put that in the oven. I usually use convection, so I do about 350. Um, Time-wise, I usually do 10 minutes and then I'll flip them over and do another 10 minutes just so they kind of get equally brown on each side. Um, and then I take them out and I'll show you a video of that um, in just a second. 
All right, just a quick look. This is what they look like before they go into the oven. And I've never had a problem stuffing as many of them on there as I possibly can. So um, don't worry about that. What do you think of these meatballs with salad? Um, it tastes really good. Do I get a thumbs up? Mm. They're good. They're good? Mm -hmm. All right. High five.